Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an email sequence for a launch or a webinar or anything else in Kajabi. Hi there, thanks for tuning in. My name is Gina and my job is just to make Kajabi easy for you so that you can work on your own website without a developer or designer, actually just do it on your own. I know sometimes you might run into a couple questions and that's where I come in. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna try out Kajabi, I'll list a link for you in the description. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end because that's when we check in with Sophie the Beach Bulldog. All right, see you there. Okay, let's get started. We are going to learn how to do an email automation today. And just right off the bat, I want to let you know that there are a few different ways to do this. Uh, you can create a pretty awesome email automation or an email sequence in a pipeline on Kajabi. And the only reason I'm not going to show you how to do that today is because when you create an email sequence in a pipeline, it only allows you to uh, send out one email a day. And sometimes when you're getting ready for a launch or a webinar, you might wanna send out multiple emails during the day. For example, like um, five more hours or one more hour to go or one more hour till cart close. And if you do it with the pipeline, it doesn't allow you to do that. So I'm going to show you how to create an email automation just based simply on whatever event that you are going to do. All right, let's hop in. The first thing you're going to do is this is my main page. I'm going to go over here to your marketing tab and you're going to create an event. So this can be your webinar or it can be your cart close. Up here on the right, you're going to create a new event. And for this particular example, I'm going to do a launch. So I'm just gonna call it a sample launch. And I am going to create a date that will be my cart close date. So if you're doing a webinar, it will actually be the date or, and time of the webinar. For a launch, you wanna make it your cart close because you're really counting down till that date. And this helps you too when you're putting the countdown in your sales page, which is in another video if you wanna check that out. I'm going to make my cart close date this Saturday at, uh, I'm gonna do 11.59 or 55 p.m. Just so it's right before midnight. And I'm in, I'm in uh, Newport Beach in California, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Pacific Time and then Save. All right, so that's the beginning step. That, that step is completely necessary. So I have my launch and this is going to be my cart close date. Let's add our first email and it's gonna be right over here, add email. And it's, it lets you say when. So this is going to correlate to this date over here. So let's just assume they've just registered for the waitlist. So let's say at time of registration, um, and I'm gonna make the subject, uh, thanks for joining our waitlist. And of course you're going to be a lot more creative and exciting than that. Uh, and then here you're going to have your email. All right, and you can actually preview it. You can see how it looks. You can send yourself a test email and let's save it. Okay, so let's say that's got them on the wait list. And now I wanna send out an email um, as I'm prepping them and getting going into this launch process. So let's do an add email. And this is going to be the week before. So we want to do it before the event and it could be up to 90 days. So I'm gonna do um, 10 days before the event. Make sure you tell it you know, how you wanna do it here, days. And this could be your video number one. If you, are, um, if you know the product launch formula, they do three videos and then they open the cart. So uh, this can be anything though. So video number one, and then you have your email. And let's save it. All right, we're gonna add another email. 
And this one we're going to do also before the event. We're going to do nine days before the event. And this is going to be our video number two. And your contents of your email, save. Add email. Let's do eight days. And this is going to be video number three. Okay, that covers the product launch formula, and you can add as many emails in here as you want. I'm going to assume we're about to open our cart, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're going to add an email that is before the event. So if your cart is open five days before uh, it closes, then we can do this as six days. And here we're going to say cart is open tomorrow. All right, you guys getting the idea how easy this is? So I wanna show you as you get very near to the end of your cart close. And let's add an email. And this would be, let's say for example, the day the cart closes. So we're still going to do before the event and we are going to do, let's do 12 hours before cart close. All right, so I've done cart closes at midnight and I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to add another email and you can do, again, as many as you want. And this time I want it to be one hour before cart close. And I'm gonna say we close in an hour. If you create this email automation or sequence in your pipeline, you will not be able to do what I just did here by creating two emails in one day. In fact, on your last day, you might wanna even have four or five emails, um, just trying to contact them, recognize the urgency, and really get them in, and knowing that that cart is about to close. All right, so I'm gonna save that. And now I'm going to do one after the event. So let's go here. Oops, let's go down to, we're gonna add an email again. And this time we're going to go after the event. So the cart has already closed. So that, that time that we set up as your event is now done. And let's do, um, let's do like 12, out, 12 hours after. Uh, and say, did you miss it? And then maybe you want to add a, like a one time only, this is your very, very last chance. But do you see how easy it is to do this and how quickly you can create this list of emails? And you can actually create this list of emails and hand it over to your copywriter and just let them know like this is kind of the, the subject line and how soon I want it to be before the court close, cart close and let them create that for you. And then you can just copy and paste right into here and it's all set. We're going to save it. And now you have your event with all of your actions. Okay, before we go, you're probably wondering, how do I get my people into that email sequence? Like, how do I get them started on it? And that's actually pretty simple to do. What you're going to do is when you capture their email, you'll do it through a form. And I'm gonna show you really quick how to do that. You go into marketing and you'll go into forms. And all you're going to do is right here up at the top right is just create a new form. And what I'm going to call this is maybe my launch 2020 uh, email opt-in. And I'm going to save it and I can actually tell it what information I want to capture. So for example, if your prospective customer lands on your landing page and says, yes, yes, I want to be on the wait list for the launch, you send them to this form. You say, all I need is your name and email and you'll be all set to go. So here's the form that you create. All you basically need is their name and their email. That's it. Here's the key. Here's the trick. Once you do this here and decide what kind of information that you want, you're going to add the automation. And that is right here at the bottom. You're just going to click on automation. 
And what happens is your system in Kajabi will know exactly what to do when you capture this person's email and the fact that they want to be on your wait list. So when this particular form is submitted, then we're going to register them to an event. And it's the event we just happened to create, which was our sample launch. And we'll save it. Now, anytime any person submits that form with their name and their email, guess what? The sequence is launched, they're in the event, and they won't miss a single email. All right, it's beautiful. It works so well. All right, I hope that that answered any questions that you have. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned for just a few minutes. We're going to check in with Sophie. Okay, checking in with Sophie. What you doing, sweet girl? Hey, what you doing? All right, that's it for now. Be sure to hit subscribe. And if you want to check out Kajabi, go ahead and link to it in the description. If you do it there, there you actually get the 28 days instead of the regular 14. So it's a win-win. You can try it out and see if you love it. All right, you guys, see you soon.